PhD scholar in TU Dublin. Um, my project is focused around developing spatial ability, um, particularly within second level and more specifically in junior cycle science. My project is also focused on gender equality in STEM, so looking at the girls' skills, particularly in spatial ability and in physics, and the promotion of girls into physics and STEM at third level and beyond. So for me, my background, um, so personally I was home educated for all of second level, so this gave me a real passion for science. Um, the first time I picked up a junior cycle science textbook, I knew this was the area that I wanted to study further. Um, as I progressed and read through biology, chemistry and physics, physics fascinated me and I was really excited by this and I just knew from that moment on this was the subject I was going to study hopefully for the Leaving Cert and then particularly in university. And that's what I ended up doing. Um, yes, so first of all I was absolutely inspired by my mother who was an amazing educator um, who home educated me herself and she inspired my interest in science and also to follow my passions in life. Um, another passion was horse riding, but that was not a career choice. So I went down, um, so I chose science and got excited by physics and all the amazing researchers and scientists, you know, that I was reading about in the textbooks. And that ultimately inspired me to take on this subject um, myself for the Leaving Cert. Um, I studied it by myself, sat the Leaving Cert exams and did well enough, luckily, to get into DIT, which is now TU Dublin, and studied a four-year um, honours degree in physics, in physics technology. So, um, like I mentioned before, my particular PhD is in um, STEM education, so specifically in physics education, um, based on my background. So what I'm looking at is the skills in junior cycle science students, so their skills in physics, in spatial reasoning, um, in scientific reasoning, and how these skills affect their choices in STEM, um, particularly for the girls. So we do have an issue in the Irish education system that are not enough girls are going on to study science, particularly in physics and the Leaving Cert, and subsequently on to third level, and therefore prosperous careers in this field. So my area of research um, is hoping to understand better how we can support girls to develop these skill sets which ultimately have been shown by research to be really important for success in STEM um, and to encourage students to develop in their STEM um, careers. So that's my focus and I hope to improve those STEM skills in second level. I suppose every day is completely different. It might sound like a cliche but for me certainly it is. Um, at the beginning I thought I would be spending most of my time reading, writing, sitting at my desk, where actually in fact um, most of the time I'm out and about um, meeting with different people such as going to different schools, meeting science teachers, discussing my research, um, presenting my research at different conferences, discussing discussions with lots of different experts in the field, um, in many seminars etc and of course there is lots of reading and writing behind all that but I suppose every day there's a new challenge and um, somebody new to talk to and to learn from in this way and I suppose I find that really really exciting. Fundamentally, I hope that as um, a young woman who went into STEM, um, a male-dominated field, uh, I hope to, I suppose, inspire the next generation um, from somebody who has done that, um, particularly within the physics realm. So, you know, I was a girl who went into physics. There was lots of lots of other male colleagues in my you know, physics uh, group, which are all obviously lovely and super supportive, but it was definitely still challenging and um, being in the minority group of the females studying in that course. So I hope to inspire girls that uh, you can do it, you have the skills, and um, you know, it can be an absolutely rewarding pathway to go. Um, you know, such as for me personally, ending up with a PhD, working on this um, with the Irish Research Council and in Dell Ireland in physics education, something I'm really, really passionate about. Um, I hope to inspire the next generation and hopefully through my research find out ways to support more young girls to study STEM and particularly physics in Ireland. Um, that's a hard question I suppose I would I do love personally um, I have some experience um, doing assistant lecturing part-time 
into New Dublin over the past three years. I'm on my PhD, so I would love to go into lecturing and teaching. That is that is an aspiration and goal of mine. Um, but at the same time, I'm really, really passionate about my research area. And I want to, for sure, in the future, keep up the promotion of women in STEM, women in physics, and develop that research field here in Ireland, you know, and um, be a role model for girls to look up to and, you know, can see themselves, if I do this route, you know, one day maybe I will have a degree in physics, I will be able to do a PhD and excel in this career and I would love in 10 years time to be able to look back and feel that I could have in, in at least some small way achieved that. <laughs>